tonight we're going to have a blue devil. A blue devil is a variation of the aviation cocktail which was created uh, in the early part of the 20th century by a bartender by the name of Hugo Enslin and he was a bartender at the Wallach Hotel in New York. Uh, it consists of one and a half ounces of gin, a uh, half ounce of blue curacao, and a half ounce of lemon juice, and a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Wow. Now that's a blue devil. Cheers. I'm Lanier Smith, and welcome to this evening's edition of uh, Since Memory. The cocktail of the evening, as I said earlier, is a Blue Devil. And the uh, fragrance we're going to be exploring tonight is none other than the very famous in the community, Allure Edition Blanche by uh, Chanel. It was created in 2008. It's considered an oriental and it was created by the great nose of Chanel, who's done so many incredible uh, perfumes and fragrances for Chanel, Jacques Poge. Um, now, everyone knows all of, or most of his uh, perfumes, but he's also created a few for other houses, including the famous Diva from the 70s uh, for Ungaro, Tiffany for Men by uh, Tiffany's of New York, and Evening in Paris, uh, a recreation of the classic um, Ernst Beau perfume from the 1920s. Uh, he was uh, commissioned, along with Francois Dumaché, to recreate or reformulate uh, that particular perfume. And I'll tell you, I have a personal experience with Evening in Paris, which is uh, quite interesting. And that would be that when I was a teenager, young teenager in the ninth grade, about mm, 14, almost 15 years old, I used to ride the school bus every morning with these two girls who had a crush on me. they sit behind me on the bus and I would ignore them. So uh, they decided they had to get my attention. So one day, on the bus, on the way to school, they emptied a whole bottle of Evening in Paris um, over me. So I was soaked in Soie de Paris. Um, and I had to go to school smelling like uh, a French whore. So there you have it. Um, it was a, a traumatic experience, and later on I became very good friends with those girls. Anyway, back to the, the fragrance at hand, and that would be this beautiful uh, flanker of the Allure um, for Men, which was also done as a perfume for women called Allure. Um, it is just... Um, for a flanker, it is really exceptional. Now, you'll notice that the bottle is white, white cap, with the Chanel logo on the top. And um, the bottle itself is kind of a beigey gold. Now, beige and white and black were really important colors to Coco Chanel. She considered them classic colors, and a lot of her uh, designs were done in black or white, black and white, or beige. Um, there's even a perfume in the uh, exclusives line called Beige. Um, but this particular fragrance is extremely beautiful, extremely um, modern, and it's perfect for summer. We're right in the middle of summer, and it's a perfect summer scent. Now, the notes are, the top notes are um, uh, black and pink pepper. Now, the black pepper is, is very sharp and pops in there with that fizzy pink pepper in the opening and kind of creates a kind of champagne fizz. 
and then in the middle comes a touch of leather, not too much, but just a touch of leather, um, a big, huge, ripe Sicilian lemon that just, is, if you could bite into it, it would make your, your, your lips pucker, but it would taste so good. And with that, it's bergamot and sandalwood. Um, and then the bottom notes are vanilla, tonka bean, a very great combination of vanilla and tonka bean. The tonka bean itself carries a lot of vanilla qualities, but um, that makes it all very creamy. And this is where a lot of people get that lemon cream pie uh, feeling. I don't really get a lemon cream pie feeling, but I do get a very ripe, delicious lemon. And it just is so much of a summer scent. It's just, I love to wear it at this time of the year. Anyway, uh, in the bottom notes are also amber, white, um, musk, Haitian vetiver, and, uh, and cedar. Now, the Haitian vetiver and the cedar come in in the dry down and really um, give it an even more masculine push. Now, I wouldn't say that it's just for men. It is marketed to men, um, but women could wear it. It's just a, a, a great kind of sporty yet sophisticated, wonderful, wonderful fragrance and uh, a, a great addition to that wonderful house of of a uh, Chanel. Um, as I said, it was created in 2008. The, the firemen even like it. Um, the, the, it would be perfect for day wear and for, um, the office, uh, but it can also carry over into evening, it, especially in the summertime uh, when it's warm. It really is a beautiful scent on a hot summer night. Um, longevity is exceptional. The uh, the scent bubble, the sillage, is respectable, and it, it's really just a beautiful fragrance for summer. And one of the ones I'm uh, find that I'm drawn to wearing this a lot this summer. It's just exceptional, and I highly recommend it. Along with everybody else who loves it. I mean, this has been a big hit on YouTube with the fragrance community. This is Lanier Smith from Sense Memory saying, remember, wear what you love and not what they say you should like. And until we t meet again, cheers. Hi, I'm uh, Lanier Smith from Sense Memory and welcome to tonight's cocktail evening of... Oh, sh I'm Lanier Smith. I'm Lanier Smith. Blue Devil.